Hello everyone, I am Jeenal Shah, Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. For latest videos about Angular, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be talking about Angular Elements. Now, which got released with Angular version 6.x and with the release of Angular version 7.x, it got enhanced with content projection. Now what is Angular Elements? For me, Angular Element is the most exciting feature of Angular Framework. As the title suggests, ng components everywhere. Now what does it mean? It allows, Angular Elements allows us to use any component which is built on Angular, we can use it outside the Angular environment. That is, we can use Angular components on any web platform sounds good isn't it now let's dive with the application so i already have created an angular application using angular cli my current version is angular 7.x now i need to add angular elements to my current application so what i'll do i'll open up my terminal and here i'll write a command ng add at angular elements and now I'll press enter. It will import the angular element package to my current angular application. So it will take some time. I will be back while it is done. So angular elements got installed. Now as a next step, we need to install the custom elements. So what I'll do here on my command prompt, I'll in write another command npm install web components slash custom elements. Custom elements will be supported by the all the browser. So again, that will be taking some time. Again, I'll be back while it is done. So now custom elements got installed. As a third step, we will require to do some adjustment in polyfill.ts file. So what I'll do, I'll navigate to my source directory. Inside that source directory, I'll open up the polyfill.ts and at the end of the file i will require to import two packages so here i'll be saying import that custom elements native shim and custom elements dot mean file now if i save this polyfill and now we have done with the all the setups now we can create a new component so again on my terminal i will write one more command ng g for generate C for component and now demo counter. What I'll do, I'll create one counter that it has two buttons, one for increment the value and one for decrement the value. So whenever user press the plus, it will increment value and whenever user press the minus button, it will decrement the value. So now on my component, I will create a simple demo of counter. So now on my demo counter component, I have created a simple HTML. It contains one button for increment the value and one button for decrement the value. Now I want to create a callback. So here I'll be creating the click event and here I'll be saying counter is equals to counter plus one and the same logic I need to apply on the minus button here again i'll create the click event and here i'll be saying counter equals to counter minus one and between this heading h1 i want to display the counter now on my typescript demo component dot ht dot typescript what i'll do i'll create one counter variable so here i'll be saying counter which is a type of number and i'll assign it a, by default a zero value so I have created a very simple component uh, which you can see it is incremented by one or decremented by one. Now I want to make this component available on any web platform. To do so, we need to make last adjustment on our app.module file. So now on our app.module.ts file, what I want to do is I want to remove that bootstrapping to app component. App component is our root component to the 
demo counter component. So what I'll do, I'll remove this bootstrapping and instead of this bootstrap, I will use a custom bootstrapping which is known as ng do bootstrap. So for that, I need to import two packages. One is injector and here I'll be importing the injector package from add angular core as well as the third package I need to import as a statement is from at angular elements and here I'll be seeing elements and from at angular elements I will be importing the package name to create custom element all right now what I'll do I'll get rid of this app component because anyhow I'm going to delete that components so from my directory structure what I'll do is I'll get rid of this app component and I'll delete this components. So now we have only one component and the name of the component will be demo counter. So here what I'll do inside this app module will create one constructor. So here I'll be saying public constructor and I'll be injecting the injector. So here I'll be saying private. I'll name it to injector which is type of injector package and then on my bootstrap method I'll name it to ng do bootstrap which we can use for custom bootstrapping by default angular application will bootstrap our application to app component which is our root component now in our case we do not want to bootstrap to our app component we want to create our custom element so now in our ng do bootstrap method what i'll do is first i'll create an element so here i'll be using that uh, create custom element and inside that create custom element first argument will be name of my component so here i'll be saying demo com counter component and as a second argument i'll be passing the injector object so here i'll be saying injector and I'll assign it a reference of this dot injector which we have already injected on our constructor. So here I will be seeing injector and I'll assign it a reference of this dot injector. And now here another line I'll be saying custom element dot define and I'm defining the selector for my custom element so i name it to demo counter this is the selector which we are calling outside the angular application and i want to render that created element whenever user call this demo counter selector now most important thing we need to register our demo counter component inside the entry components so here I will add a new property and name it to entry components and inside that entry components I will register my demo counter component. Do not forget to register your entry component or demo counter component inside the entry components. Now as a last step we need to generate the build. So now to generate the build I will open up my terminal again and I'll write a command ng build minus minus production minus minus output hashing to none and build optimizer to false. Now that will generate a dist folder in our directory and that dist folder will have a different, uh, different JS files. So we will wait while it will generating the uh, dist folder. So now as our build is generated successfully if we navigate to our directory we have this dist directory. Inside this dist directory, you can see we have main.js, polyfill.js, runtime.js and script.js. So now if we want to use this component outside Angular application, we need to import all these four JavaScript files. So to manage it properly or to concat this four JS into a single JS file, we will use another package of node.js and that is known as fs extra concat package. So we will use that package for 
concating these four files into a single JavaScript file. So on my command prompt, I will use another command npm install fs extra concat and I'll be using minus minus save to developer dependency. Now we'll require this package only to concat that four different JS into a single JS file. I will be back while it is installed. So now we got installed that file system extra concat package. We can create a new JavaScript file and write a logic to concat these four different JavaScripts. So on my root level, what I'll do, I'll create a new file and name it to build script.js. So here build script.js and inside that build script.js file I will write my logic for concating three uh, or excuse me four JavaScript file. So what I'll do I'll copy and paste this over here and you can see my dist folder has a four different files. So uh, scripts, runtime, polyfill and main. So here I need to import that scripts.js file. All right. Now we have created our build script to concat that four JS file into a single file. Now as a next step, what we have to do, we have to write a simple build command in our package.json file. So what I'll do now, I'll navigate to my package.json file. Inside that package.json file, I'll write one command here. I'll say build and build inside the elements directory. I have written in my uh, concat logic that create a new directory with the name of elements and inside that elements directory create a single JS file, right? So here I'll be writing ng build minus minus production. Again, I'll saying output hashing to false. And I want to generate that node build script JS file. So finally, I'll saying node build script dot js file so now it will be required to generate that single concated file so now everything is set up i'll close this and open up my terminal again and now if i write the command node build script dot js that will generate an elements folder elements directory and inside that element directory, we do have our single generated or single concated JS file. So now if we can navigate to this, after that dist directory, we have our elements directory and that elements directory have this demo counter.js file. And this file is merge file from that four, J, four different JS file. So now, we can use this JS file to render our Angular component. Or you can say we can use this JS file on any web platform to render that Angular component. So what I'll do here, I'll create another folder and I'll name it to uh, demo. And now inside that demo folder, I'll add a new file and name it to index.html. Now it is just an HTML. It has nothing to do with Angular application. So in this HTML, I will going to use my that uh, custom element. So now if you can see, I have created a simple HTML page. It has nothing to do with any languages. So it's a just plain HTML. And here on this HTML, I will be calling my demo counter. Remember when we created that custom element inside that ng bootstrap method, we have given a name to our counter selector and the selector is demo counter. And here I am saying that my JS file is inside the elements directory. So now if I open up this browser, uh, this HTML on my browser, so I'll saying reveal in explorer 
and now if I double click this index.html it will open up as a normal HTML page and you can see my angular components is running here so now if I press plus it will be incremented and if now if I press minus it will be decremented this is how we can create our angular custom elements if you have liked this content please like and subscribe to my youtube channel